hi guys and welcome in today's video i want to share with you a few recipes that i make using our homemade yogurt if you're new here uh we do make our own homemade yogurt it is so easy it is so 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 easy and there are so many ways to use this yogurt apart from just drinking it and that's what i want to share with you today i'm so excited that you are here welcome i love hanging out with you it's a saturday afternoon actually saturday evening and i'm making a yogurt just before i go to bed i like making it before we go to bed so that i put it in the oven uh, we oven light on and then it stays undisturbed until the next morning or until 24 hours are up or are done. Uh, I did, I've done enough videos you guys about making homemade yogurt and I did one about why your homemade yogurt might come out runny. And one of the things that I learned when I was making that video is that if you move it around, it might end up getting, if it keeps getting disturbed, it might end up not being as thick as you would like it to be. So I like to do it overnight and then let it just, you know, let it just chill out in the oven. And also I've done a video of how you can make it without an oven. So easy. Check it out. All you need to make it is literally just milk and then a culture. And we use, um, we use yogurt that we buy from the supermarket. If you want yours to be sweet, put your sugar. If you don't want, that's fine. If you want it to have a vanilla taste, put your vanilla essence and that's it. Uh, this thing for the first time, I am using raw milk because I've really been wanting to test whether when I use raw milk as opposed to using milk from the ATM, it will be thicker and oh my goodness, the difference is astronomical. If you can get raw milk from from a cow from a farm <laughs> all milk is from a cow <laughs> okay not all milk you know what i'm saying but if you can get raw milk try it and let me know if you see as much of a difference as i did Okay, can we all just appreciate how thick this yogurt is can we please take a moment and just admit yes this is thick yogurt that's all i want that's all i'm asking for So now it is 24 hours later before we left for church in the morning i removed the um, the yogurt from the oven and put it in the fridge so that it can be nice and thick by the time i am using it in the evening to make my first recipe oh my goodness i am so excited to make this overnight oats because oh my goodness it is one of the most delicious ways to have yogurt oh my mouth is watering just thinking about overnight oats my guy you guy hmm. So to make the overnight oats, uh, all you need are uh, basically oats, of course, <laughs> and then yogurt and also any toppings you might like. I like strawberries, I like blueberries, a little bit of honey if you like, and that's it. That's, oh my goodness, please try it out.
oh my gosh you will not even believe how i dropped <laughs> i dropped one of the covers <laughs> for the containers that i'm using to make the overnight oats oh my gosh the ruckus the ruckus and did i say that it is sunday night children are asleep <laughs> hey, yeah anyway life happens c'est la vie So in case you're wondering about overnight oats, oats, by the way, the ones that you normally buy from the supermarket are usually pre-cooked. So you don't necessarily need to cook them, although most recipes will call for us to cook them. But basically just put your oats in your container and then put your yogurt and then put whatever toppings you want to put and then drizzle a bit of honey and then put it in the fridge overnight and then wake up to glorious deliciousness the next day. You get by the way, if you try no other recipe in this whole video, you have got to try overnight oats. Please do me that favor. It is morning and it's time for us to have our overnight oats. How many times have I said that? Oh, my kids could not have had enough. But they, so just take it out of your fridge. The oats will have soaked in all the goodness of that yogurt, all the goodness of the strawberry flavor. All the, and then you just mix it up and then you enjoy. Oh my word.
new day and now we're making uh, a new recipe. Yes. Uh, by the way, I might have forgotten to mention that this yogurt lasts for at least 10 days in your fridge once you have made it. So yes, it's going to last you a good while. And I'm still working on my health goals. Let me call them that. So one thing that I've really been enjoying lately is having um, green smoothies. And I know yogurt is really good for my gut health because it's chock full of probiotics. So sometimes I will make my green smoothie with yogurt and fruits and chia seeds and all that goodness. And yes, yes, that's all. That's all I need to say about this. Delicious. smooth is really good after working out you guys oh my gosh and then because it has all this fiber and deliciousness and the chia seeds and the spinach and the wort, it keeps you full for so long and whatever remains because you know it's hard to really just make this one glass it stays in the fridge for a, for a good for enough hours and i'd like to carry it to work as well for lunch ask me how to put uh, like strawberry flavor in yogurt or whatever other flavor now I don't normally make that kind of flavored yogurt because I have never found a flavor that is not artificial most of the ones we buy from the supermarket and they are called strawberry flavored it's mostly just food color and yeah really <laughs> and a lot of sugar so what I like to do when we have when we want to have anything that combines yogurt and strawberry is we make a smoothie like i'm making for the kids afternoon snack with a banana and strawberry uh mixture makes a really nice and filling snack for the kids they love it i love it it's healthy uh our tummies are happy and of course so are our pockets because you all know how much you love saving money over here
to have for lunch is a granola drizzled over my yogurt and then drizzle over some honey you guy my guy it is so delicious and i'm telling you guys there's something this yogurt that you make with raw milk is is at a whole new level because the thickness and then we just put oh by the way you know we made this granola just a few weeks ago when we were doing the breakfast videos please check it out this granola is coming it's coming coming in handy in so many ways so now that's what i like to do on a lazy afternoon when i don't feel like making lunch or having lunch or when i'm hungry it can even be a good breakfast it's just awesome have gone to one of these amazing restaurants and had uh what do you call it the fruit and nut and yogurt combo and then you have paid an arm and a leg and half of your left kidney well do you know that we can always make that at home <laughs> which is what i'm doing because it's such a nice snack my husband loves it i love it it's quick, it is easy, it is healthy. And yeah, it didn't cost us uh, uh, much. Much, it cost us very, very uh, comfortable amount. You can drizzle it with nuts, of course. Uh, I felt a bit lazy to peel our peanuts. Plus, when we're having our peanuts for snacks, you guys, we don't peel them, I'm sorry. <laughs> but they're so delicious. Thanks for hanging out guys let me know which one of these recipes you are going to make and you guys uh, watch another video on this channel because i just want to keep hanging out with you all the more you are such good company and i will see you over there thank you